today is my last day as a devil. It's taken quite a long time to get to this point. It's university, training as a solicitor, working as a solicitor, and then taking the nine months off to retrain to be an advocate. So it's been a long time. I can't believe today is actually finally here. As a devil, you do a five week intensive course at the beginning. After that, you're basically free to shadow your devil master around faculty. Well, Devil Master essentially coaches the devil about the, the ways of the Supreme Court practice, shows things from, from counsel's perspective. You go to court with them, they send you the cases that they're working on and you help them with their work. For the devils, they have left their previous jobs, they train for nine months, they put in quite a lot of hard work and essentially they're now starting a totally new career, new stage and they are ready. They've been signed off as ready by the Devil Masters. I have the honour to present Miss Kirsty Elizabeth Tyre and to propose that she be admitted a member of faculty. Today the calling ceremony itself has two parts. The first part is admission to the Faculty of Advocates and the second part is becoming an officer of court. It's a really good day. There's a huge amount of tradition that comes with today, so I'm excited. I'm also quite nervous. My aim for today is to get through the day without tripping over. I think that would be a success. It's my great pleasure to inform you all that you have just been admitted to membership of the Faculty of Advocates. Well, when I came to the bar, there were four women. There's now maybe 150 and we've got an equality and diversity committee and we're very, very keen to promote that, both uh, ethnic diversity and gender diversity. Advocates have a thing called the cab rank rule. You know, the taxi must take the first fare. If someone comes offering a fee, asking you to do work, then we are obliged to do it. We value our traditions and, and our heritage. It's just adapting that, keeping it, but. Uh, adapting it to the world in which we live. I'm the founder of the Scottish Ethnic Minority Lawyers Association, which is known as SEMLA. In my view, the legal profession has to be reflective of the communities it serves and protects. And part of that is having a diverse profession so that lawyers can relate to their clients and the communities. The great thing about a career at the bar is that you're never alone. This is an incredibly collegiate place where you've got colleagues and friends. If you're ever stuck or you need some advice, you can speak to your devil master, you can speak to your friends. Court. I have absolutely no regrets about coming to the bar. It has provided me with an opportunity to meet people I never would have otherwise met, to become involved in legal cases that have changed history, to be involved in cases that have changed people's lives as a result of the outcome, and I really couldn't have thought of a better way of spending my legal career. A number of things that we try and do to help people along the way in that is there are, for example, scholarships which people are able to apply for if they want to, to come to the Faculty of Advocates. And the other very important thing we do is, of course, not charge for all that training. When you come to the Faculty of Advocates, you see the history of advocates, the fact that we've been here for centuries and on the day of your calling, you come to court and you sign your name in the book and then the wig is put on your head and it feels like you've become part of Scottish legal tradition. Each of you will find a real sense of achievement in accomplishing your goal of becoming an advocate. You are now members of the College of Justice. I do think most people either know nothing about it or they see it as a very select body. And the one thing I'm trying to do is get the message across that we really are reasonable people. We offer a very, very good service. We're an important part of legal tradition. We're here to play our part in Scottish civic life and to be part of the fabric of Scotland. So I'm very keen to increase that profile. I mean, that's what we're about. That's what we're trying to achieve.